I remember we were up in the Northwest Territories and we met this elder and we talked to him for a long time and he got this really sort of sad look in his eye and I just was asking him, what, what are you thinking? And he just said, my people, they've, they can't hear the land anymore. When you're traveling by dog team, you hear the land, you see every rock, every tree, and the land speaks to you and you can hear it. The point of our expeditions isn't necessarily to do a first or to do some route the fastest possible. It's really just to, to get out there and witness the environment. And then traveling by dog sled just allows us to get into places that we wouldn't see normally. The last expedition we did was the North American Odyssey. So Dave and I traveled 11,700 miles across North America by kayak, canoe, and dog sled. I, I don't think I could spend three years doing something if I didn't see a direct benefit to you know someone else besides just me. We had about 85,000 students from 600 schools across the country following our journey through our interactive website. We see our role as getting in there early on and getting kids excited about the outdoors, excited about wild places so that they'll want to go out later on and experience the wild places themselves. You can't take a classroom of 25 third graders on a 12,000 mile journey, but through technology we can bring them along with us and they learn so much more than if they're just reading something from a textbook. That interaction is really key. The excitement of the kids is contagious. It gives me hope for the future. You know, we have to make these kids believe that they can do whatever it is they want. At one point, I was a fourth grader sitting in a classroom just like them, and I wanted to be an explorer. Now I am, and they can do it too if they want to.